After nine years, you know what I've realized? Ignorance is a blessing. Then we have a deal. I don't want to remember nothing. I want to be rich. You know, someone important, like an actor. Whatever you want, Mr. Reagan. Oh, that went right over the heads of people. They dropped it on you in the Matrix. Whatever you want, Mr. Reagan. I want to be an actor. Somebody important? The fuck is an actor important? The only time a, an actor is truly important is when he or she is on the stage and not in no goddamn movie. And when that stage performance is tearing at the heart of the bullshit that you live every day. That's when you become dangerous. That's when you become important. You see? Do you remember that one, don't you? Hmm? The reality is that there is no reality. Let's just check that for a moment. The reality to everything that you are now trying to encompass so that you become comfortable. You walk out of here, you know you go left, and then you go into the subway, you take the subway, you go there, you get up, you go in, you go into your house, you got your home. You, that ain't reality! We don't know what reality is because everyone in here is in the matrix. Your thoughts, everything you plan tomorrow and the next day has preceded you. Have you sat down and contemplated what you will do without the matrix tomorrow? You can't. Because even if you are contradictory to the matrix and you are setting up the revolutionary side to attack the matrix, you are still controlled by the matrix because your reactions are under the auspices of the matrix. They act, you react. No one is acting upon their own volition because all your thoughts have been synchronized. That's some disheartening shit. I ain't even got a thought in my head that doesn't belong to them because even the books we read on, on, on African history was from what them pimps went in there and stole and lied and put in about. We don't even have our own goddamn history. The Matrix put our fucking history together. Very few people are down there in the pits like Dr. Van Sertima and other peoples who are there digging inside of this shit, who don't want to deal with it, who are taking no quarters. Dr. J for one of them. Fuck all of them. I like what he says. And I like when Khalid said, kill him again, dig him up and then kill him again. <laughs> They ain't dead enough, you know what I'm saying? They represent all the lies that we've been given. And until you begin to stop and allow that melanin which they're trying to co-opt to begin to tell you the truth from within inside of you, that's why the books are the illusion as well. If you do not know how to navigate the matrix and understand how telestic transmutation must operate for you to, uh, to, to advance beyond the synchronicity that was set up by the matrix, then you are just reacting and not acting upon what is within you, that Godhead inside of you, that goddess head inside of you. You cannot act unless you are free of the reacting impulse that the matrix has set you in. There are no rules. I'm gonna show you how synchronicity got you locked down. Who like football here? Who got a favorite team? Name one. Rams. Okay. Jets. All right. When they play, you got a favorite player out of the Rams? Marshall Falk. Marshall Falk. Boy, grab the ball. What did it make you feel like? It's magic. Magic, right? Ball, not you. 
but in synthetic synchronicity they have trained your attention to react to what others are doing so that you could have a second hand experience yes you are synchronized to those who the matrix have created as important so you are still in reaction mode because the matrix creates your leadership for you they tell you what greatness is and you react to what you think greatness is so sports keeps you hypnotized because you can vicariously cast yourself upon that you even get up and you explain when that touchdown you even see yourself going through why he was like oh man and you see yourself going through the motions <laughs> they got you they got you you even know all the plays you even know what it is that the, the referee is talking about you even know all the things that set you up in the illusion you have nothing of your own look into the categories of your mind and see if there's anything that belongs to you in there that shit is depressing huh and then brothers and sisters out there who are criticizing me about what it is I need to keep giving them they're drugged <laughs> they're on drugs they're on information drugs they would never see themselves applying something that is completely unique because they too fucking scared and chicken to do it they waiting for somebody to do for them to show them whether they're right or not Massa says it's all right so it must be all right and they cleave to brothers and sisters who are out there trying to do things which is actually just lead by example leadership isn't something you take unless you just bogart this shit and then you ain't a real leader you're just a despot and a fucking tyrant leadership is something that is cast upon you by who you represent and what you represent to others it is something that is positive something that is productive creators they are creators and parasites we got a bunch of parasites out here i see a room full of creators in here because i know everybody in here creates their own environment when they go there everybody looks to you and some of you all are sick because of that because now everybody is just sucking on you like fucking vampires and that's some of the cost of being in that position when you got your own light like moths to a flame they come and they just <laughs> and you laid in your bed and you wonder well damn why am i so fucking tired i ain't do shit today yes you did you was talking to them draining motherfuckers <laughs> being unique always shows up like in neil remember when neil went before his boss and his boss said um you believe you're somebody special don't you that you don't have to play the rules if the, the rules don't apply to you damn right they don't never have i could never stay in a job my father said one thing to me when i was 13 he said if you work for a white man that's the worst thing you could ever do in your life and never left me and every time I went to get a job I couldn't stay in there more than a month because I had to cuss out that onion head boss they put the stupidest motherfuckers between you and them and they get the most pompous asshole to be telling you what to do it's synchronized light code lockdown the reality is that there are no rules to follow, only the illusions they've created in your mind. So with that, we're going to jump to what I mean by telestic transmutation. Now, I'll be always introducing all kind of crazy words that most people don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Well, let me first give you an idea of how the shit is done, because when, about seven years ago, I, I had a thing called um artificial or uh, what was called uh synthetic synchronicity that i mentioned on one of my tapes 
There is a transformation process that began when you first walked in here or every time you do walk into some place like this, whoever the speaker might be. The words telestic, T-E-L-E-S-T-I-C, derives from the word teleology, T-E-L-E-O-L-O-G-Y. And it comes from the Greek word, excuse me, teleology, teleo, teleology, teleologia. That's the word, teleologia. Or telos, meaning a purpose, a destiny, or an end. Now listen carefully. The word teleology means, and listen carefully to this, the study of evidence, listen carefully, the study of evidence through the expressions or designs of nature. The study of evidence. Now, teleology is the study of the evidence of what nature is by what its expressions are. So you study what nature is to know what is behind that form. Check. In other words, you are studying the cause of all effects. Let me go into another meaning. The word teleology means the doctrine that all ends, that's it, all ends, and I use that word this way, all ends or all results, or all end results are encoded within nature. In other words, all end results have a precursor line of intelligence that brings that end result out. Three, teleology is also the doctrine explaining the phenomenon by a final cause. <clears throat> In other words, once you have worked out the cause of a circumstance, then you now study the intelligence that is the cause. By bringing yourself to the place where the cause is, you've brought yourself to the place where the intelligence that created the effect resides. Five again, the fact or character attributed to nature being directed towards an end or shaped, come on, shaped by a purpose. Let me say that again. The fact or character attributed to nature being directed towards an end or shaped by a purpose. And lastly, the use of design or purpose as an explanation for a natural phenomenon. Now, looking at the human body, you look at the design. You look at the, the magnificence of this creation. And within that creation, you will find that there is an ultimate purpose within. And guess what? That purpose has been stagnated. That purpose has been sidetracked. You have been shut down. The word transmutation breaks down into four distinct embodiments. Trans. Now, if you look up the word trans, you will find this um, definition. Having various atoms or groups on opposite side of a molecule. Trans? Having various atoms or groups on the opposite sides of a molecule. So trans means to go beyond, through, so as to change, beyond a specific chemical element in the periodic table, to change or to transfer. In other words, in transformation, you must start at the atomic level. Any other change is superficial because what will happen is that atomic intelligence will constantly do, will, will constantly seek to go back to its original form unless you change that shit from the atomic level. That is why we ain't going nowhere. Christianity seeks to change us from the outside in. And Christianity cannot change us because the very pattern, the very thing that it telestically represents is artificial. It's based on artificial synchronicity. So you cannot get to the basic atomic organic structure of Christianity because it doesn't exist. Therefore, Christianity cannot create a transformative venue for you. It can only lock you down in the effect that it represents. Check. I know that's a little bit. You got it though, right? So. When we are looking at transmutation, 
when we say intellectual transmutation we are looking for the intelligence